What is up guys, Winter Kills here, welcome back to another duel video. Today we got True Draco on the left and Dinosaur on the right. That's right, I'm piloting True Draco. It's a bit of a fun duel um, where I would, you know, actually like try to help mix up the matchups a little bit. I know they've just been like True Draco, Dino, Fluffle, Photon, Mermel. I know, like I said, I know there's a variety issue and it's, it's gonna change soon, I promise. Just give it time, ladies and gentlemen, just give it time. Anyways, I'm piloting True Draco here on the left. You see, we get our turn started by playing a pot of duality. It immediately gets hit upon resolution with a droll and lock bird. And uh, that's a bit unfortunate for me. So I'm going to go ahead and set three and pass while he goes ahead and activates his Lost World. And this is Lost World Dino. There will be or there already has been a, dual vi or a deck profile for this Uh Dino deck and True Draco deck. I don't know when I'm going to be uploading them because as I'm uh, making this, it's literally the night before I leave for vacation, so I'm going to have to be manually uploading things uh, while I'm gone, um, and I don't know what order I'm going to be uploading things, so and I'll probably be saying that in a lot of videos that are going to be going up uh, over the next week or so after the July, after the 4th of July, so um, we'll see Miscellaneous Saurus get pitched here. And we're also going to see what looks to be a Obi Raptor effect get activated, targeting the token and destroying one from deck instead of destroying one, or instead of destroying the token. And he's going to destroy uh, Petty Ranadon, which will summon out Dogeron. And right now, I think just looking to get damage on board at the start of this game here. So he's going to swing into three back row. Luckily, I don't have any uh, battle traps in this build, but he does get a swift 3,000 damage in uh which doesn't hurt me too much currently but uh uh i still got some plays to make um the droll unlock bird did hurt a little bit obviously i think i had a demise uh that i couldn't use so that is waiting in the wakes currently and uh i don't think there's much else uh for this uh turn uh one thing i do want to mention is that like i said uh, there are two deck profiles for each deck being played right now. I figured I'd do a true Draco deck profile since I haven't done one in probably a long time or maybe never, I don't know. And uh, there is a updated Dino deck profile. Um, they will be uh, uploaded if they already haven't, so I just want to make that clear. Um, but either way, continuing on. And uh, I believe pretty much from this point he's just going to go ahead and pass... Not wanting to uh, invest any more resources in that first turn play. Did what he needed to do. Did some damage. Established a board. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and activate Dragonic Diagram here to start my turn. And I'm going to go ahead and use its effect to destroy an Apocalypse that I had set. And that's going to give me uh, the removal of Dogaron there. Get that 3000 beat stick off the field. And go ahead and search me a True Draco or True King card via Dragonic Diagram. And I'm going to add... Ignis Heat, I'm a little hesitant here, but I believe I do add Ignis Heat because I want that to give me a spell later on during his turn because I definitely could use a card like Heritage. Um, but I do need a monster, so I'm like, I, I need like a spell and a monster right now, and I only have access to get to one, and I'm basically banking on drawing into a spell or something, some better cards here off the demise as I storm forth away the, uh, the Ovi Raptor. I draw into three, and I didn't really draw into... Uh, too much of what I needed. Um, so he does take 22 since he is at Ignis is up to 27, but we'll lose 500, dropping him down to 22. So he only takes 22 there, putting him down to a total of 58. And uh, I drew into like two other monsters off of I drew into duality and two monsters, and I had like I said no way to get to a spell, and without not getting to a monster and at the discard. Uh, Maiden and Rocky Boy, which is really unfortunate since I had already burned my normal summon on that Ignis. Um, and Rocky Boy would not have been able to beat over the Ovi Raptor, so I kind of had to cut my losses there. And uh, But I think the important thing to remember here for me is though I had a True King's Return set. Uh, I think I do have one set, so that Maiden isn't completely sent to the graveyard in vain off the demise. Um, so here he... Normal summons Baby Sarasaurus, and that is going to trigger the Lost World. And on that, I chain the activation of Ignis. And I think he might have a response here. I, I, might, I believe he does have an Ash Blossom in hand. Um, 
sort of waiting in the wakes uh, for one of my plays. And uh, that Ignis does go through uh, adding a copy of True Draco Disciples, or Disciples of the True Draco Phoenix, from deck to hand. Which, is, like again, like I said, that Ignis doing the job I wanted to do is just to get me a spell to my hand for later use. But here it is, uh, Lost World resolving, getting that token on board, and uh, now deciding how he wants to proceed here. I think he goes for a big miscellaneous Saurus play here. I believe he does banish four total uh, to summon a level four dinosaur monster from his deck, and that is going to be Soul Eating Oviraptor, which on summon will either add a dino or send a dino. And I believe he sends Giant Rex from deck to grave. He doesn't go for the Coatlas here. Instead, he does send Giant Rex as if to uh, set up for a double evolution pill play. And uh, he can follow up with the Giant Rex because uh, that will get summoned when banished. And I believe he could also summon Coatlas here since he did not use it uh, by sending it to the graveyard. So he does activate double evolution pill and will banish Droll Lockbird and Giant Rex. Um, Giant Rex not getting summoned yet, technically. Uh, that's why he puts that back in the banish zone. And then Coatlas gets summoned to summon Giant Rex. Um, so now he does have the ability to negate a spell or trap once per turn by destroying a monster, I believe, on his field. I don't know if it destroys from hand or uh, on top of that, but I read the card's uh, other effect other than it just adding double evolution pill. Uh, I'm not too entirely sure uh, which uh, what its stipulations are versus the exact same as uh, you know, Ultimate Conductor. So here I flip rivalry, rivalry of the Warlords, and yes, I do main this in this build. Um, and the reason I do this is because I don't want him to be able to go into a rank 4, and if he goes into a rank 4, I know he's going to go into Lagia. And on summon, I don't want to just flip up rivalry and lose it to the Lagia. Um, so I figure I'd do it now and force him to use Coatlas in fear of not being able to go into a Link or into an Xyz, there's no Dino Link or Xyz he can go into. And that does get rid of the token on my side of the field because that is not Worm type. Uh, he does negate and he does destroy Baby Sarasaurus. But I do flip up another copy of Rivalry, which I believe is the only reason I, I even bothered doing what I did there. And of course, both of his uh, Giant Rexes are up by 2, 4, 6, 8. Uh, I believe because he has eight or four banished Dinos, each gaining 200 for each. Um, but Ignis is sitting at a. A measly 22, um, but I do have that True King's Return set as well right now. I believe the Dino player here has another copy of Lost World Hand, debating on whether or not to play it. Uh, and just at this point with a rivalry, I don't think it is. Um, so he swings over Ignis, doing some damage, and then I, after he goes to, when he declares an attack with uh, Ovi Raptor, I summon out Maiden. He redeclares, killing the Maiden. And obviously, Giant Rexes uh, cannot attack directly. He just wasn't anticipating the uh, the True King's return. Granted, he still should have probably attacked with the Giant Rexes first because they can't attack directly, um, and then just get more damage in with the Ovi Raptor. But regardless, he has plenty of advantage right now. Uh, the the rivalry only hurting him so much so it's just keeping him out of the extra deck which is really what i wanted i didn't want to have to worry about a lagia um, and another spell trap negation on top of that so the rivalry actually coming in pretty clutch here uh, another card probably would have been goes in match um, but he has two earths a dark and i'm not sure what coatlas is i'm gonna go ahead and bank and say it's a dark as well but uh like i said the uh the rivalry of the warlord just, just doing a perfect job as is right now keeping him out of the extra deck there are no dino monsters in the extra deck for him to go into like I mentioned earlier um, so I play disciples here and on the activation he's going to uh, use the Coatlas negation to get rid of one of the giant rexes then we'll send that to the grave and that's gonna pop uh, lost world that has been destroyed uh, and we'll go ahead and use disciples other effect as an MST if you will just to go ahead and pop his lost world which comes in clutch here just a bit uh, because Lost World is just a huge pain in the ass uh, to deal with, especially when there's a token on your side of the field. Luckily, the token wasn't able to stay because of rivalry. We'll go ahead and activate Dragonic Diagram here. He does use Ash Blossom. So as you saw the card he pitched from hand, it might have been uh, a little too quick to see. But then here I go ahead and use uh, 
return to bring back Maiden, and then I tribute away the uh, return to summon Ignis, and that does pop Coatlas. Then Coatlas gets this effect once sent to the graveyard by a card effect uh, to add the double evolution pill. There's no way around that. I, I don't really want to leave it on the field. Um, I either crash, or he crashes it with next turn and gets double evolution pill. He crashes into the uh, the Ignis. So here I swing in over top of the Oviraptor uh, for, I think, 900 damage, leaving him with a giant Rex. And um, no cards left in hand right now. Just not able to do a whole lot. Don't have a lot of the resources that I really need. Uh, but my 45 to his 49 currently. Um, and he's going to activate another copy of Lost Worlds. Good thing he didn't use it early on for more plays. And I guess he couldn't really because of the, the uh, rivalry. And uh, I, on the activation of, because uh, he does he does chain link two Lost World chain link one Obi Raptor. I go chain link three Ignis to add the the spell. Uh, I think it was Heritage, and the token doesn't get summoned, but it does get destroyed because of the, uh, the rivalry. Um, now uh, there's some gray area here, and what I mean by this uh, coming up, uh, so. It's going to cut here, and I want to do some explaining. I believe it is. So, what happened here is he summoned a conductor. That's why that other giant Rex is on the field, by banishing two dinos. But he accidentally banished a dino and a non-dino for the summon of a conductor. Um, so, I had, kind of had to make a cut there, because we sorted it out later. Uh, and then he plays an evolution pill to banish uh, another non-dino and the ash. Uh, basically put a shit ton of damage on board. And... Uh, put me down to zero as we head into game two here but that's why there was that cut there because he summoned conductor accidentally banished a dino and a nine dino as just like you know thinking it was a um a double evolution pill that he was summoning off but he's just summoning it via its own effect so wanted to go ahead and clear that up there to maybe clear up some confusion i get my turn started again with pot of duality uh I'm, there's just not that many great cards that get revealed to help out the hand that i have but I decided to take Rivalry strictly because it did help me out quite a bit last game. Um, unfortunately, I just wasn't able to capitalize on it, so I still take it. And we did side deck. I think I side decked three copies of Mirror Force and two copies of Anti Spell, um, which I think I did open up Mirror Force, uh, which I think comes in. Uh, it would come in clutch against this deck, 100%. Uh, and I get, I go ahead and use the Disciples effect to get an extra normal of the Maiden there. Uh, you know, resolve the demise here. We're going to activate terraforming. Um, go ahead and add Dragonic Diagram from deck to hand. Looking like a pretty decent uh, turn overall, if you will. And uh, go ahead and play Dragonic Diagram here, and that's going to go ahead and activate destroying Ignis Heat from hand. And go ahead and net me a search. And I grab Heritage here, and that's going to net me one draw as well. And. Now, I could have gotten greedy here and summoned the Ignis in hand instead of and popped like a Watto or the Duality and gotten two draws, but I didn't want to just like, I don't know. I think I had Rocky Boy in hand and I didn't want to lose him to uh, de Demise, so that's why I decided to pop the Ignis um, uh, earlier from hand and not pop... Uh, the Awato because I wanted to use my other normal summon on Rocky Boy so it wouldn't leave the fee or leave my hand and get discarded because of demise. So that's why I made my play the way I did. So I set the duality and then Rocky Boy returns the hand. And then he gets his turn started here with Lost World. What else is new? Plays Fossil Dig. I'm gonna go ahead and chain the uh, on the activation of that I could have chained on Lost World, I believe. I don't know. But either way I chained on Fossil Dig to grab Dynamite Knight, Dynamite Knuckle. And uh, he goes ahead and adds the Miscellaneous Saurus from deck to hand. One of the best dino monsters hand down in the deck. And one thing I'm very interested to see, and again, I don't know if it's gone up yet, is the featured archetype I did and have done uh, on Dino Wrestlers. I can't wait to see what Dino will be doing with those cards. And here he activates one of his side deck cards, which is Hey Trunade. Not Hey Vsauce, Michael here, but Hey Trunade. And uh, I chain rivalry to that just so I don't lose it. And that ends up returning the duality and the mirror force that I had set from 
uh, you know, earlier to my hand. And uh, the Hatronade actually coming in very clutch there to clear some unwanted back row, especially a card like Mirror Force, which has caused him some massive grief later on. And then he goes ahead and normal summons the Oviraptor. Can't use... Uh, he does actually... He still can activate Lost World here, but the token will just get destroyed anyways. And um, he goes ahead and Chainlink 3 uses MST to hit Rivalry, then Lost World resolves summoning the token, and then Oviraptor resolves. But now that I'm sort of thinking about it, you know, Lost World says, if, you know, if the token were to be destroyed by battle or card effect, you know, you can destroy it from deck instead. Um, so I'm not even sure, like, if... Rivalry would destroy or get rid of the token or a hover would get rid of it if it sends it or destroys it um, If Lost World would protect it from that one instance I don't know I guess it doesn't matter and then and then then it would get destroyed But I guess it's better because he can use Obi Raptor effect here And destroy but he, he had the MST regardless. I'm not exactly sure what would happen in that situation It's kind of an interesting situation. Maybe you guys uh, could fill me in with the exact ruling, but either way he goes ahead and uses Obi Raptor's other effect here, the secondary effect, after sending uh, Giant Rex to the grave, I believe, or maybe Coatlas it was. Um, and then he uses the effect to destroy from deck, destroys Petty Randodon to summon uh, Giant Rex. And I think he, I think the next thing he does here is plays Evolution Pill. I'm not entirely sure. So right here, he's pretty fixated on just trying to kill me at this point. Um, and for a, a good moment, I thought there was a way that he could, and I'll explain it to here. I'll explain it to you guys as this game progresses. Because um, I, I believe he has sent the giant Rex uh, or over over tax um, off that uh, the Obi Raptor, and what that'll do is either add the evolution pill or give him a a, a good banish target. For if he already has Conductor in hand, or an Evolution Pill um, in hand already, that'll give him something to summon out off of it, uh, because he did summon that uh, the Giant Rex off of Petty Ranadon, so he can still get another Giant Rex on board if he just banishes it. And um, I just want to clear up confusion because I know the banish effect is only once per turn, but he does, uh, you know, get it out a different way. So. Just waiting to see what happens here. I'm placing some dice on some cards just to make sure uh, we each know that our effects have been expended. It's easy to forget things sometimes when you're not in a tournament setting playing a duel. Even then, it's actually kind of easy to forget some things. But anyways, uh, I think I jump cut here through some more uh, just thinking emojis. And uh, so yeah, I think here he goes out and gets started by summoning Ultimate Conductor Ryan Rano, Vanishing. Uh, Petty Ranadon and Giant Rex summoning that out like I said and Here I think he just goes into a rank four now Here's how I thought he could go for a game and it just all comes down to the wording on conductor Tyranno. I thought he could just simply use the both giant Rexes to go into um, Or actually you know what I guess it'd be better he could use uh, Obi Raptor and a giant Rex going to underclock and summon underclock and then use underclock uh, summon underclock uh you know over top of the one giant rex you know um just next to the conductor and then use underclock to target giant rex and then target maiden dropping maiden by 22 um and then using conductor to swing in for 35 and i thought since you know maiden wouldn't get destroyed by battle um he could attack with conductor again and that would do another 35 because she'd still be at zero um, and actually killing her that time because she already been protected from battle once by diagram But I'm pretty sure conductor Tyranno says that it only protects itself uh, Or it can only attack each monster once um, Which I'm I'm gonna check right now To make sure I just want to pull up his exact wording um, Once each yeah, it says once each so my my plan and thinking how he could OTK there wouldn't have actually worked out. So he does make Tornado Dragon here with both Giant Rexes in his extra monster zone. And then I uh, believe he uses Tornado Dragon here to uh, destroy Diagram. Uh, 
again, I'm just trying to calculate exactly how he could go for game here. I'm not entirely sure there was a way he could. I think I think later on he told me there might have been a way to drop me even lower. I think to like 300 or so if he would have made uh, lightning, uh, Utopia lightning, uh, by swinging over um, uh, like the 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 Mad Majesty Maiden. Um, not entirely sure though. So either way, he uses the uh, tire or the tornado to pop diagram. And then he goes into battle phase here, finally, and uh, runs over the um, the maiden and kills the token. Uh, the diagram is gone. That's going to put me to 19 uh, after all is said and done. After swinging in with the tornado dragon, which is dropped by 500, keep in mind, at 20, 2100 down to 16. Um, and then standby phase, there's going to be a weird cut here. Standby phase, he went to use the uh, Tornado Dragon to kill Heritage because he knew I had Rocky Boy. So I, what I do here is just then normal Rocky Boy, then play Diagram because I wanted to uh, try to keep the game state as clear as possible for you guys. Then I get my turn started uh, by, you know, using Duality here, revealing Maiden, uh, Rocky Boy, and Terraforming. So at this point, it's kind of pretty hard for me to win Honestly, the the biggest uh, you know thing to get over is is just Tyranno. It's 3,500. Uh, you know I can't. There's no monster in my deck that can beat over that. Uh, even with Rocky Boy on the field to sort of keep him from using the Book of Eclipse effect. And if, if I didn't have Rocky Boy, I would have just probably scooped at this point. Um, so I pop Dynamite Knight from hand, and then uh, grab Disciples, and then I return three, hoping for some really good draws here. Again, I don't really know what it is that I'm hoping to draw into. Um, maybe some back row, like a Mirror Force or something, uh, to, you know, because I do actually do already have Mirror Force in hand, which is nice. And I'm just hoping for stall stuff, like I do, in, like I got in hand right now. I'm lucky able to get a card like, um, uh, you know, uh, True King's Return, Mirror Force, play another diagram here, pop Disciples, and this is going to grab me Heritage, uh, for another draw. Now, unfortunately, I, I just wasn't able to get another monster to hand. Uh, because, like, again, if I wanted to even have a chance of a turn here, I needed to use my first normal summon on Rocky Boy, and then I need another spell and a monster on top of that. Um, you know, granted, as I draw into another Rocky Boy, granted, I could have just popped um, the True King's Return in hand to grab another monster and then just not have the return and get rid of Heritage here um, and swing over, like, the Tornado Dragon for, you know, a minuscule amount of damage. Um, I believe it would have taken, if I would have got, like, uh, Ignis, um, he would have taken 600, you know, putting him to 73 currently. Um, he gets his turn, though, started here by discarding Miscellaneous Source. So now all of his dinosaurs are unaffected by my activated effects, uh, during this main phase, though. That's important to remember. So Mirror Force really isn't going to save the day like I thought it would, um, because it's, or, actually, no. Mirror Force is going to save the day like I thought it would. So... You know, I thought about scooping, but then I kind of read Miscellaneous Source. I'm like, wait, this only protects them from activated effects, you know, my activated effects during the main phase. And obviously the battle phase is not the main phase. It's far from it, actually, right? Um, so he uses uh, Miscellaneous to banish uh, Giant Rax, another dino, to summon out uh, the Baby Cerasaurus. And summoning Baby or Giant Rax off its own effect. And then using Conductor to destroy Baby Cerasaurus to summon Obi Raptor from deck. And then Obi Raptor using its effect here to grab uh, to send Coatlas to add double evolution pill. Now right here, uh, it's very easy for him to pull off game, but just trying to clear that mysterious last back row, um, which is really unfortunate for me. I was like, please don't, please don't get rid of this card, <laughs> please. Um, and then he uses his normal summon that turn for another baby source for underclock to give himself another zone. And then goes into Diamond Dire to pop the Mirror Force. Then plays another double, double Evolution Pill. And it's pretty much extend the handshake dot JPEG at this point. Uh, as he's able to send for 1,000 and swing for you know, over, over 45 or 4,500 more damage on top of that. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. As always, want to kill Santa out. We'll see you guys in the next one.